It's the very last game of an arduous, gruelling English League campaign, but for the two towns, it's one last chance to crown the season in gold. Stand by for tears in Cardiff's magnificent Millennium Stadium as Huddersfield Town play in Mansfield Town. Good fluid movement from Huddersfield to involve left-sided Lloyd. The hovering ball in, met by Booth, and it goes towards the net as well, and just out for a goal kick. Sodje. There's a line of Huddersfield players in here, including Pavel Abbott, including Abbott, and the best save of the game so far from Pilkington. Well, Pavel Abbott's a bit short on goals at the moment. He hasn't scored since his winner against Southend eight matches ago. But he wraps one in here, having got the better of Hassel. And, uh, Pilkington made himself big. And yeah, the Mansfield goalkeeper responding perfectly to Abbott's pile driver. Instead, uh, now a prodigious talent in the Premier League with Blackburn Rovers. He actually scored a couple of goals when they drew 3 3 with. Mansfield earlier this season. Holds this ball up there now. Booth's coming again. It might drop here for Lloyd. Here's a chance. Surely! Oh my goodness me. Talk about putting bodies on the line. Danny Schofield cannot believe he's not scored here. Williamson. Larkin. Williamson's full of running. He really has picked it up. Abbott. He's got Booth in. It's Booth. It's Andy Booth. Huddersfield's hero down the years. He's missed it. Corden was really perked up in this uh, last 20 minutes. That's made a big difference to Mansfield. Larkin trying to turn. Squeezes it away for Laurent Jaffaut. He's going the wrong way. Before he finds an ally. An accomplice in Eton. Corden now. Wayne Corden to let fly. Save of the match for a hooker. Shot of the match, Wayne Corden. Four more minutes of added time to be played. That's plenty. Mansfield are really coming at Huddersfield in these closing stages now. Corden. It's a cross in. It's beyond Larkin. Who's going to pick this one up? Curtis is going to pick it up for Mansfield. What an assault it is from them. It's a cross. It's Chapo. It must be from Larkin. No, he's offside. Offside, Colin Larkin, just at the split second that he was about to run away and celebrate promotion. The flag denies him. Huddersfield breathe again. But how close was it? And was it the correct decision? Curtis has been magnificent picked it up there then he slung it back in the flag had not been raised at that moment and did the ball go out that was probably what it I'm gonna say it couldn't be offside the ball had gone out of play space for Lloyd to try and exploit down the left Makaliski's found him it's John Makaliski Teed up for Tony Cars, left footed, a bender, wide, just. A moment of glory for Tony Cars, just eludes him. Nobody wants to make that one crucial error now, obviously. Huddersfield have three across the centre, will it be Booze Day? It's glanced down to Lloyd, it's Lloyd, he's going in! He's tipped aside, fantastic save by Pilkington. Lloyd's effort there was going just inside the uprights. Anthony Lloyd right-footed. It looked for a moment as though it was going to arc into the net. And Kevin Pilkington has responded magnificently in the first minute of the second period of extra time.
It will be penalty kicks to decide whether Huntsford, Huddersfield or Mansfield go up to Division 2. Smiles from Keith Curl and Peter Jackson. They know they could do no more, but it is down to the lottery from the little white spot 12 yards out. And you got your penalty takers all sorted out? Mm, got our penalties sorted out and I was really confident my first three. Obviously Robbie, Danny Schofield and Kaza, and the, the following two obviously Lee Fowler and Yatesy. But I always felt, I can't believe that they put us in first as well to take the penalty. Jacko's got us, all, got us all together and just said, whatever happens now, happens. It's nobody's fault, we've, we've all done the best, we've had a great season. And just go out and do it. So penalty kick number one to Rob Edwards of Huddersfield Town. The goal scoring hero in the semi-final, the hero now. 1-0 Huddersfield. Wayne Corden right-footed against Rahubka, and Rahubka saves! We take penalties all the time in training, we have shooting practices and, you know, little games. Um, and, he, and he'd done his own work, I mean, Gafford had a word of him, and they took most of their penalties to that side, so, it, so Paul just said in his own mind, if I dive there every time, I'm going to make at least one save, and that could be the save that, you know, that wins it, and luckily it was. This to make it 2-0 Huddersfield. And 2-0 it is. When I'm walking up, I'm just tending to pick the spot where I'm going to hit it and then just put it there, really. I'm one of those, if you, if you change your mind while you're running up, you're more liable to miss it, so just tend to pick the spot and put it there. You smacked it hard? Yeah, I just tend to hit it hard. Just Hopefully the keeper would go the wrong way, but if he does go the right way, it's still got a chance of um, sneaking in. And now they entrust the second kick to Liam Lawrence, the man who has equal the league record for penalties in a season this year with 12. He has missed one. Lawrence doesn't usually miss. It's going to be a long run-up from the top scorer of Mansfield Town, and he's not... Oh, he has missed! Oh, dear, that's dreadful. What a moment for Liam Lawrence to choose his worst spot kick of the season. He tried to be clever. Look at the look on Keith Curl's face. He cannot believe that his talisman, Liam Lawrence, has tried to be over clever with this one and it's clipped the crossbar and it has stayed out and it is still 2-0 Huddersfield. This to make it 3-0 and Huddersfield will be almost there if he scores. He is left-footed, Cars. This to give Huddersfield a huge advantage, it's 3-0! They are roaring away to my left. They are miserable away to my right. It means that every single kick from Mansfield now has to go in. What a moment of responsibility to fall on the shoulders of Mackenzie. He scored against Northampton in the semi-finals. It's Mackenzie against Rahubka. He scores. 3-1. Lee Fowler, who's never scored a goal for Huddersfield since his move from Coventry City, can seal their passage into the division higher. Well, I didn't really realise, even when my penalty came up until Steve Yates said, if you score this, Lee, then we've won. And then I realised as I walked down, I wish he wouldn't have said that, but that's when I first realised. Pilkington, the captain, and Mansfield composed. Is this the moment for Lee Fowler? It is! Take your place in Division 2, Huddersfield Town. Joy for Jacko. Despair for Keith Curl and Co. It's all blue and white here in Cardiff.